Today is the lesson is to complete it. All the our Tai Chi beginners form eight. Yeah. And I think last class, I already uh, finished the movement cross hand. Yes? Yeah, mm -hmm. cross hand. And uh, a closing form, this is a completed. But this beginning class, it is very short, but very important. We say is a recycle Tai Chi. So it is uh, not much movement, but actually can be practiced continuous. You, you not finish eight movements, that's it. You know, we can repeat, repeat. Yeah. So this eight form, it is very good for the beginners. And also, it's very good for your practice at a short place, small places. Yeah. So, and also you can be practice as a warm up to get ready. Yeah. So, I say to my Tai Chi friend before, the form eight actually is not a new form. It is also the traditional form uh, and passed by the masters. And because this eight form, uh, we are practice between, we doing like uh, push hands, weapons, yeah, between them. So because a Tai Chi hand form is slow and gentle. And the whole form, 85 movements, or somebody call 108, actually exactly the same. It's just the numbers, you know? Yeah. Uh, left, we, we say left and right, wave hands like a moving cloud. And the 108, it would say left, one movement, right, one movement. So that's why I add up the number to 108. But actually, the Yang Ching Fu's Tai Chi book, the last one, is already 85 movements. So the 85 form, we always say this is the authentic form of the Yang style. But the authentic form, the Yang style, it is, you know, is a slow and gentle. So you don't get, you know, heavy breathing. Yeah. But when we're doing our weapons, when we're doing the energy explosion, Fa Jing, when we're doing a push hands, then we'll be speed up. Lots of people thinking, oh, Tai Chi weapon. Okay, so have to be like a Tai Chi. Slow movements, no, no, no. The weapon of the Tai Chi is already start a little bit faster. Okay, it's slow and fast a combine. Okay, it's not oh even like the Tai Chi form, the hand form. So that's why when we're doing uh, two or three times the weapons, and we will get it breathing, you know, a little bit more and a little bit heavy. So between them, then we are practice the eighth form recycle movements. So to calm our body down, okay? So this is great form and, uh, you know, is a pass down through the, the uh, early generation. Yeah. So today will be is the last lesson for the beginners class of the youngster. Okay, in the future, maybe we have other classes, but the opening, uh, I mean, the, the beginning uh, form of the young style before the beginners, I think today is the, will be the, the last one. And uh, I will to show and share the connecting, how to recycle, 
how to continue to repeating. So I just let our Tai Chi friend know. And also, we have uh, two kind of, uh, now I teach everybody is uh, the very basic, very basic, the eight form. Eight form, opening form, then is grasping the peacock's tail. This is the second movement, the grasping the peacock's tail. This is the authentic form. But when we are promoting Tai Chi to the beginners, we still found out the grasping the peacock's tail, that movement, very, very difficult, especially for the beginners. Yeah. And the, this is about uh, uh, 19 years ago, 2004. I was invited to China, Taiwan. I've been invited to the China, Taiwan island to teach Tai Chi in 2004. And also the people I'm teaching is about two or 300 monks. They are all Buddhist monks learning Tai Chi from me. Yeah. And uh, one of my disciples is uh, giving me a uh, advice. Say, Sifu, <clears throat> it is a form already very simple. But for beginners, especially the grasping the peacock's tail, one name, but I have uh, four little movements like the ward off, press, roll back and push. So still very difficult. And also in here, I think our almost Tai Chi friend is more advanced, but even you are very advanced, still you found out the grasping the peacock's tail is a difficult movement when you practice. So that's why in 19 years ago, I'm going to Taiwan to teach about 300 months Tai Chi for beginners. So I changed the grasping the peacock's tail to the parting the wild horse's mind. Yeah. So this is much more easier movement for the beginners people learn. Yeah. So today, I'm going to show you in two different connecting. One is from charting the world horse's mind. And the other connecting is grasping the peacock's tail. Yeah, it's very similar, but it is a different, different. Yeah. So if for you are self practice, you can practice grasping the peacock's tail. And because you are more advanced, I think. But where are you teaching for the new beginner students? I give you a recommended is from opening form, okay? And then you are teaching parting the world horse's mind. Then this is will be much more easier for the new beginner students to into the Tai Chi, uh, to walk into the Tai Chi gate. Uh, and then when they are more advanced, more understand the body coordination, then you can teach afterwards. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I think everybody already know how it's all the movements is. So now, I just have a one practice, okay? Uh, I'm practice in front to you. So I'm facing to south. My back is north. And then you can follow me.
to practice one more time. So first, watch me, okay? So I first practice the parting, the wild horse's mind set. Then I practice one more time. It's the original one, the grasping the peacock's tail. Yeah. Okay, Isabella? Okay, yeah, all right then. Okay, so now, do we need to warm up <laughs> to get a body? Okay, it's a, we are a long time haven't doing the warm up with a big circle. Okay, the big Tai Chi circle. Lift up your arms and sidle to right and bend the knee down. This exercise is very good for the stretching and also is very good for the body balance. When my arm sidle to the left, look my hips is to the right. So we have uh, the whole body's exercise. Arms up, breathe in. Arms down, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, we now change direction. Okay, back to the front. Get all the bodies up, down, is uh, relaxed. Okay, now we are doing a little bit knee exercise. And rotating your knee by your hand. Okay. And push a little bit back. Okay, push back. Stretching. Now, Squatting your knee and make sure your heel is down. Okay. It's not like that. Okay. Huh? It's there. Okay. 
push and go tighty. Okay, three times. Now, stretch it. Okay, use your fingers, touch your toe, and push up. And this is a very safe way to stretch it. And you can feel more from the heel, okay, to your hips. The tendons almost is your legs get a very good at stretching. Now change your hand to a fist and push. Okay, now, palm. So between your arm and your feet, getting more narrow and narrow, more close and close. So you will feel your legs be more tight and tight. This is a great stretching. But also make sure your head not drop down looking and looking forward. You can see. So my neck always tight. Okay, now loose. Okay, one thing is very important. You must be squatting down first. Okay, then open your chest, lift up your head, and breathe in. Lift up your body. Yeah. Don't get up, okay, by your bodies. So you hurt your back. <coughs> All right then. So we have very simple and gentle exercise. Okay, now. I just have a practice, okay? The whole set, one for the eight forms. Opening form. Parting the one versus the line. Single way. Raise hand. White the crane spreads the wing. Left knee brush.
Cross hand. Closing form. Okay. So this is the eighth form for the beginners. This is what I'm teaching in this course. Okay, now you can follow me. Opening form. Heart in the walls is lying. Single wing. Raise hand. Wide the crane spreads the wing. Left to me. Cross hand. Closing form. Okay, so this is the eighth form for the beginners. And uh, it's a little bit different, it's the second movement. I just explaining to you before, is originally, is grasping the peacock's tail. But 19 years ago, it is really for the beginners. So I changed one movement. So this is, uh, will be much more easier for the beginners. They are start with that movement. So now, uh, just before I show you the front and the back, yeah. Okay, so it's the different of the second movement, but also in the movements, okay. Original form, the grasping the peacock's tail, the body way is after the opening form is turning on right. Turning on right. Right heel turn. But the parting the wild horse's mind after the opening form, the body way have to be go to the left, left heel turn because right leg is step out. So you have to put the weight to the left. So the different is in the beginning after the first movement. Yeah. The now look from here. The body. This is left. This is right. Okay, left. Yeah. So you have to left heel turn. Left heel turn. Cross out. 
Then you are step out, left foot. This is a step out, right foot. Sorry. Yeah, that's a right foot. Then you step out. Okay. Now, I practice twice, front and the back. Again, it's the original, is grasping the peacock's tail. Then the body weight from the beginning, straight away to the right. Yeah, to the right. Okay. Opening form. Grasping the peacock's tail. Left, ward off. Right, ward off. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip. Raise hand. White crane spreads the wing. Left knee brush. Cross hand. Okay. So this is the authentic, exactly like before. Okay. And also, this is uh, everybody know. <clears throat> they, they are just the beginning of the authentic 85. Yeah. Okay, now, follow me. Okay. <clears throat> Open it for grasping the peacock's tail left. Hold on. Right. Press. Push. Single whip. Raise hand. White crane spreads the wing.
left me Cross hand. Closing foot. Okay. All right, my dear friend. So this is the authentic way the traditional way to practice the A form. So you can see only the second movement is a different. Instead of the grasping the peacock's tail. And now we are make a little bit simple, but actually nothing is a simple, yeah. but just looks and doing it just one step. So it's a, parting the war horse's mind. So again, I say, when you practice yourself, I recognize you are still doing the original. But for the beginners, yeah, I was thinking, you know, it depends really, yeah, depends. Different country, different people, yeah. But for China, I think uh, we are being teaching the parting the war horse's mind for many years. And the result is very good. It's instead of, you know, give more pressure to the people, it is more easier for the people to walk into the Tai Chi gate. Yeah. So this is more, uh, you know, is uh, because lots of Chinese people, they're thinking Tai Chi is so easy. You know, Tai Chi, it is for elderly people. Because you can see in China, almost people doing Tai Chi is after they are retired in the park. Okay, in the, 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 the gym doing Tai Chi, it almost in the middle age up. Yeah. So give people idea, oh, Tai Chi, it is for elderly people. And the Tai Chi is slow because, so give people idea, oh, it's weak. <clears throat> because he can't make fast. That's why it does slow, you know? It doesn't understand the principle of Tai Chi. Why we slow? Because we want to be more faster. Yeah. Slow is not easy. We are doing a slow as control, as a purpose. But our slow is no stop. Have to be control your speed, your mind, hold your body. You have to connect it. Yeah. So lots of even Chinese people, they don't understand. Yeah. So in their mind, for all the people, for weak people, for the people when we, IG, it is good. This for sure. For all the Chinese people, that was a great answer. Tai Chi is good. This is for sure. But they're always thinking, oh, wait to me retire. Then I do Tai Chi. But of course, still have a lot of people now, you know, is uh, find Tai Chi or learn Tai Chi and study Tai Chi. So that's what I'm saying because in their mind already, Tai Chi, it is for elderly people, you know? It's easy, easy. So when they are come to the Tai Chi class, the first movement opening form is not too difficult to look like. And to the second movement, oh my God, almost the students, they are kind of look after arms, feet, left and right, everyone, you know, it just, walk in the middle of the street like yeah they cannot control then they are you know realize wow my goodness tai chi it is not that easy yeah huh? so really it is 
sometimes fast, more easy than slow. Because when you do slow, every single movement very clearly showing every part, every small details is showing straight away. Yeah. So that's why uh, we are Tai Chi have to be slow. We want to do a more better, more profit. That's why we are doing a purposely slow. Yeah. So if you straight away <clears throat> and people give idea in China, Tai Chi is easy. Okay, I try, try, try. And the first movement, wow, the grasping the peacock cell. One name have so much details. Left word off, right word off, roll back, press, and the push. So difficult. So, you know, from my experience, maybe 20% people after the first class, they don't come back again. Oh my God, they're thinking. <laughs> so difficult. It's just the beginning. And make me, you know, sometimes people is not, uh, uh, it is, it is uh, everyone thinking different. But sometimes people thinking, oh, embarrassed. Yeah. Embarrassed to other, thinking, oh shit, what the other people thinking of me? You know, I'm so stupid. <laughs> it can't all the, can organ, the, the, the organize my arms, can't range my foot and coordination is so difficult. Yeah. So that's why this second movement, the parting the world horse's mind, it is uh, still not easy. Actually, this is a very difficult movement, but looks easy. At least compared to the grasping the peacock cell, it's much more easy. And uh, you know, just telling people from that, okay, come down, holding a bow. Oh, okay, everybody know how to holding a bow, you know? So holding a bow, lift up your right foot and step out. You know, I can see all the awkward movements, but at least they can follow my instruction to doing it. Yeah. So that's why from we are, teaching experience, the parting the world horse's mind is much more easier for the beginners. And also it's, uh, we are promoting very well and people easily to walk into the Tai Chi gate and they're enjoying it. Yeah. And the first beginners, we are don't give much movements, okay? We just eight movements, but you can, Repeating, you can recycle doing it. So you don't have the quantity, okay? But you have the quality, yeah. You don't have that so much movement, but actually if a form when we are practice, maybe about two and a half minutes and two and a half minutes. But you are doing three times. It's about eight minutes. And you're doing five times. It's about 15 minutes. Yeah. So, you know, the quality and the times are add up. So your bodies, your legs, you will feel it. You're sleeping. You know, problems, uh, you eat, appetite, and uh, also your body energy during the day. Uh, so if you are practice, even the eight form for the beginners, if you are can every day repeating morning and night, every day you're doing half hour or 20 minutes, you will feel the difference. Yeah, you're appetizing, you're sleeping, you're, you know, 
your energy is you feel the difference, especially for people never doing Tai Chi. Yeah, they will be more sensitive. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to recycle, how to continue both movements. Yeah, all right then. We are eight forms. First movement is opening form first. Second, parting the Wahoza's mind. Third, single whip. Four, raise hand. Five, white crane spreads wing. Six, in Chinese, this is a six. Six, left knee brush. Seven, in China, this is a seven. Okay, put these three fingers together, seven. Seven is cross hand. Eight, this is eight. Eight is closing form. So when we are repeating, we are not repeating these eight movements. We are repeating, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> uh, we are repeating from the second movement uh, to the number uh, six. Uh, to the number six is uh, to the left, left knee brush. Seven is cross hand. Eight and closing form. So from two to six, recycle. Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, uh, from the parting the Wahoo's mind to left knee brush. So this is the connecting is there. Okay? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm doing three times, okay? Three times, so you can see very clear. Opening form. It will turn. Parting the world versus man. Lift up left hands, heel turn, single whip. <clears throat> Raise hand. Why the crane spreads the wing? Left knee brush. If you really want to finish, lift up left hand. It will turn to the cross hand. If we want to continue, okay, keep your body well on the left. Heel two. Step up. Single wheel. Okay.
So this is the second round finished. After the second, we must be continue the third one because we cannot be finish different side. We always finish at the beginning at the same facing. Okay, so from here, again, heel turn, arms cross, step up, parting the war horse's mind. Single whip. Raise hand. White the crayon, spread swing. Left and you. Okay, this is the third time finished. So you want to continue pivoting, step up again. If you need the three times only, so from here, okay, lift up your left hand, heel turn, cross hand. Closing. Okay. So this is, I practice three times. Okay, returning. Yeah, recycle the movements three times. So this is the, this course, we are teaching the beginners class for the young style Tai Chi. So you give a uh, feel and uh, uh, have a touch about the young style Tai Chi. And the, the movement is very little, only eight. Yeah. Except the opening form and the closing form. Mm -hmm. no, only six movements. But that six movements, it is very important movements. And also is very rich, uh, I mean the uh, <coughs> important movements of the, the young style Tai Chi. Uh, it's like a single whip, uh, white crane, knee brush. Yeah. Today are uh, all is, uh, you know, is a very famous young style Tai Chi movements. Yeah. Okay, now. I show you once more the authentic way. So only one movement's different, grasping the peacock's tail. Okay, the second one different. So the second one different because we are, when we are connecting is from the second to the number six knee brush to connecting. So how to connect, okay? So how to do from left knee brush to the grasping the peacock's tail. That was a different, okay? Yeah, please watch me again. I have to go step a little bit back, otherwise you can't see my feet. Opening form. Grasping the peacock's tail.
single wind. Raise hand. White the crane spreads the wind. Left knee brush. Okay, connecting. Now, from left knee brush, how to connecting to, to the grasping the peacock's tail is keep your body well on the left. Heel turn and the right hand down, the left hand up. Left the wall off. Then step up. Right foot. Roll back. Press. Sit back. And a push. You turn single width. Raise him. Left the new brush. Left the wall off. Right wall. Roll back. Press. Push. Single whip. Raise hand. White crane spreads the wing. Left knee brush. You can continue. Or you can stop, lift up. <laughs> All right. Now I just show our uh, Tai Chi friends uh, the connecting. The connecting, you have to remember, whatever the grasping the peacock's tail or what we teaching the part being the wild horse's mind. We have finished on the left knee brush, so our body weight. It is on left already. So it is the legs movement, the lower body movement. It is keep your body weight and pivoting, okay? So you have to keep your body weight 
keep your body warm. Whatever the movement it is there. Whatever you're doing, the parting the war horse's mane or grasping the peacock's head is all pivoting. Yeah. Parting the war horse's mane. If pivot, step up. That's it. Yeah. Pivot, holding a ball, open. But grasping the peacock's tail, yeah. you have to do little stop for showing the left wall. Then step up. Right wall. So the footsteps, very similar. But the body movement, yeah. One movement, it just hold open. <clears throat> but grasping the peacock's tail, we have to show in the left one. We have one movement like that. Okay, your eye looking forward, not looking left. <clears throat> then step up, right. Roll back. Press and push. Yeah. It is a little bit more complicated in the beginning. Yeah. But when you are doing a practice, I think you are will be very easy to walk into it. Yeah. So thank you so much. The Europe Tai Chi Center and this link and our beautiful, very nice and respectful Zhuang Yan uh, is better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, thank you, you always look after me, you know, during this class in this period, few months already. Yeah, and uh, I hope, you know, this is just a beginning, see? Youngster Tai Chi for beginners. And we will have uh, more classes uh, set up, okay? Uh, we have, see, this is eight form. And also we have a, one is very, very beginners is for the, uh, really it's just uh, white papers, you know? Only the upper body's movements. Yeah, the lower body, it just, Zhuang is a still Zhuang movement. Yeah. So uh, we have a, this is called a Kang Ying Jiu Shi. Yeah. Kang Ying Nine Four. Of course. And also we have the Nei Jia Internal Seven Forms. So we will be, you know, after these eight forms, we have a, we just see what form we're going to teach for the next classes, okay? So I hope everybody like the way I'm teaching. I'm not very professional. I just like to make a joke <laughs> because I believe must be have a happy Tai Chi. Yeah, we have a cha, okay? Yeah, so it is, uh, thank you so much for your supporting, yeah. And uh, yesterday I looked at one class, you know, I just have a time. I just go on the link to look at one master's class. Well, only one or two peoples. I feel very sad. I feel very sad. You know, the master's uh, teaching very good, but it's, we don't have much people listening. It. But at least I can see on the screen, I have very familiar face and my wonderful friends here. So it is, I feel very warm and nice. Yeah. And I like to continue with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So today class have to be finished because uh, <clears throat> uh, seven o'clock, I have a new class started for today. So today we have an open class for the around the world. So if you don't know, you please look, the, the, I will share the link and uh, 
you can have or if you have friends of me in the WeChat, you can see the photos. So you're looking for the mark to go in. Okay, same o'clock. See you tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Master Fu. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, my dear uh, Tai Chi friends, today that's the last uh, class, last lesson of the uh, Fu Ching Chuan's Young Style Tai Chi for Beginners. Uh, just uh, as Master Fu said, it's going to the beginning, it's going to be the beginning of our serious class with Master Fu. And uh, Master Fu is a great treasure for our platform and he's so modest. Uh, he is the most popular master on our platform. Okay. We are so happy <laughs> to announce that. Uh, also, very soon for the for November of this year, uh, we will hold the third Tai Chi uh, European Tai Chi Cultural mm. Forum, mm. and Master Fu's grandfather's ceremony will be one of the themes of our ceremony. Uh, yes. So we do look forward to that. Uh, and uh, Master Fu, if you have five or 10 minutes after the class, please, uh, I'll have a chat with you on WeChat, if that's okay. Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. And ladies and gentlemen, please, let's look forward to the future classes held by Master Fu. And again, the advertisement, the uh, notice will be on our platform. Uh, if you have not joined yet, we have a WhatsApp European Tai Chi Culture Center. Please join us and all the notices are there. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.